Good morning, fans of Privateer FX, non farm payrolls day. A couple things we're going to talk about. On a strong one, um, we like Kiwi lower. We think Kiwi's run its course. We think this trade news is going to be bad for Aussie and Kiwi. We're looking at a new range in Kiwi, so we think the 6830 top, which we just printed, is important. So we'll take this opportunity for if it's a strong one above 250, uh, we'll sell some kiwi. On a weak one, we'll try and buy some euros. Uh, ideally, euro is more is closer to the figure, but today's little move up to 26 was just bullshit stops. Uh, an hourly close above 20 is important in euro. Although we're at 17 now, unclear where where we're going to be for this number. CAD needs to be looked at as well. Just technically, it's super important. Uh, last week's low on the engulfing bar comes into play now because it is the end of this week. 131.30 was last week. Let's call it an hourly close below 20. You want to be short dollar CAD. And so this is technically going to mean and this is technically going to be more powerful if we get a weak one out of the U.S. and a strong one out of Canada. Um, good luck trading that in the first minute. Uh, it gets a bit hectic, Dollar Canada, on these kind of days. But any silly bounce, um, and if you have your plan ready, you can be prepared to try and get shorts on. Again, depending on the print. So you, for a weak one in the, in the U.S., you want minus 150, and, and, and a strong one in, in Canada, you want something like plus 25. So, there we are in FX. Equities have already taken his trade news and started inching lower. We've printed it high around 27.48. Now we're down at 27.33. Um, so, on the day we're flat. Doesn't look like either side's going to back down here to me. And even though Trump flakes out on pretty much everything he does... Uh, it's getting a bit late in the day for a flake out. Uh, I'm sure he's even getting more angry about his upcoming trip to London and all this uh, tomfoolery about making fun of him with a blimp. Not going to really uh, be great for his psyche or his mental stability uh, for a guy who's probably not super famous for being the most mentally stable fella on, uh, on the planet. So, my guess is things are going to get worse before they get better between the two sides. And risk off is the way forward here. It gets really interesting uh, at 26.73, which is the 200 day. So, yesterday's low was 27.10. That would be bearish engulfing on the day. This 200 day, which we've been playing around with now for the last two years, um, as you can see, all of, since way back in 2016, we can't close below this 200 day. This is super important. So this must be kept in mind. It may not happen today, but if we have a negative day today and the news feed over the weekend gets a bit ragged, this needs to be kept in mind. All right, that's it. You got uh, one hour and 10 minutes till this number. Good luck, people. Uh, have a good weekend. After it's all said and done, I'll talk to you on Monday. Ciao.